with Peter Bosch being the best player right now after winning back to back to back FNCS titles, yep that is three in a row, it's no surprise that everyone is eager to know what his settings are and just last night during his Twitch live stream he revealed it all. From his full list of settings and keybinds to his Nvidia colour settings, install options and even his keyboard config, I'm about to showcase all of his fully up to date settings and I just thought I'd make this up to date video for all of you as it kind of makes this video on screen here slightly outdated but not fully so if this does help out please drop a like and subscribe for more but starting off with his video settings this was literally screenshot from his live stream yesterday you can see that his windowed mode is still on windowed full screen uh, i have no idea why by the way i'm still yet to find this out i've heard people say it's for his chat so you can see it easier i've heard other people say that it's for his stretched resolution which he does sometimes use right now you can see he's currently on native however a couple of days ago he was using a stretched res for a solo cash cup and the res he was using is on screen here that's 1720 by 1080 as of right now though he is on the native res of 1920 by 1080 his v-sync is off his frame rate limit is still on 240 fps however for his rendering mode this is on performance mode you might notice here as well there's only two options and the reason he's got like two options in that setting is because he has this setting right here that's directx 12 shaders to see he also most likely has high resolution textures turned off as well to get a slight FPS boost. As for his brightness, it does show on screen to be 125%. However, just yesterday he did change this to the max, that's 150%. As for the colorblind mode though, that is still disabled. For his graphics quality settings, he's using a 100% 3D resolution. His view distance is now on near, his textures are on low and his meshes are on low too. For his audio settings, he's got his sound quality on high. This does sound the best in my opinion. He's also got the 3D headphones off and he's got this amazing setting right here turned on. That's visualized sound effects. For his game settings, under his movement, he's got toggle sprint on, auto open doors on. He's got his movement to be on hold jump and press jump. Pull to swap pickup is off, toggle targeting is off, auto pickup weapons is on. As for his building game settings, he's got the reset building choice off, he's got disable pre-edits on, he's got turbo building on obviously, and for auto confirm edit, this is on edit. So he does use it, he just has it on the edit section, which is the second one along. For his hood settings, or reticle settings rather, he's obviously got the reticle on, reticle ammo indicator is turned on. If you don't know what that is, it's the little indicator on the right of your crosshair. He's also got the damage numbers on cumulative, this automatically adds up all the damage you do deal. Reticle damage feedback is on hit only so he only gets that sort of hit marker. His damage number scale is on the max one. I recommend this by the way as it's easier to see how much damage you have dealt. For his hood scale this is on 63% so it's rather small and I believe all the rest of the hood options are pretty much on default. For his mouse sensitivity he has his X on 6.4%, his Y on 6.4%, his target and scope sensors are both now on 45%. All of these by the way are are on a mouse DPI of 800 and I think he is using the max mouse hertz which is 4000 on the Logitech Super Light 2. Oh as well for his keyboard movement uh, to a lot of people's surprise he is not using this at all. As you can see he's got the use diagonal controls disabled or turned off. Next up we've got his keybinds. Now for his movement this is pretty much default with WASD and space on jump. His sprint is interesting that's on the uh, tealed key I think it's called which is left of one I believe. For his auto run, that is apparently on L or number key, and his crouch is on C, as you can see here. For the rest of his key binds, he's got his reload on Q, his use is on E, and he's got the mouse wheel scroll up. So if he wants to open a chest, he can literally just scroll his mouse up. Pretty convenient that I use it myself. Uh, for his pickaxe, that's on mouse button four. For his weapon slot one, that goes from one all the way down to uh, five, I believe. I'll add an extra bit on as it doesn't show on this. As for his building key binds, these are very interesting and it's even more interesting if you see him actually playing with them like at LAN and where he sort of like presses his fingers it's just insane uh, but for his wall that's on T his floor is on Y his stairs is on F his roof is on V and his trap is on R he's also got the repair slash upgrade on H rotate B 
building on J and then for his edit bind he's got that on G and he's got the mouse wheel reset on scroll down with push to talk on X2. As for the miscellaneous controls I thought I'd add this as it's quite interesting. Uh, you can see here he's using the cursor mode which is basically the inventory uh, so instead of actually like toggling your inventory you can literally just hold down alt and that'll open up his inventory until he lets go of it and then you can see he's got his map on M. But that's pretty much all of his settings and key binds. I thought I'd also mention this little cursor right here as you can see it's a cross and if you do want something like this for yourself you can check out my tutorial I made I think like a year or two ago and that can get you something like this in game if you do want it like Peter Bot. Next up we've got Peter Bot's Nvidia settings where he did recently reveal he uses the digital vibrance not on the default one but on 75 which does greatly increase the vibrance in game so colors pop and like look just obviously more vibrant here is proof for of him actually using it mate can you show nvidia settings i have 70 digital vibrance and that's it bro as for the rest of his nvidia settings like the 3d settings right here it is possible that he has sort of optimized them to get more fps oh and another thing you will have customized in the nvidia settings is the adjust desktop size and position when he does use stretched resolution and moving on finally we've got his keyboard settings as you can see here peterbot does indeed use rapid trigger but it's only on his edit key and if you don't know what rapid trigger is it's basically a feature that allows you to adjust the actuation point of individual keys dynamically unlike traditional mechanical switches that have a fixed actuation point so basically instead of waiting for you to release the switch all the way rapid trigger will reset the moment you release it at x amount and that's why peterbot just has it on his edit key because it allows you to press any key like the edit key for example again and again without having it release all the way which is more faster and especially more helpful in games like fortnite when you're pressing your edit key rapidly i believe peterbot uses a default actuation point on all of his keys except the edit key on 0.2 however for the rapid trigger he's only got that on his edit key which is g and he's got that set to a value of the fastest one which is 0.1 so it's going to be super sensitive oh one last thing as well regarding his setup uh, this is one little correction I need to make. Uh, his mouse is still the same. That's the Logitech G Pro X Super Light 2 in white. His mouse pad is still the Game Sense Radar Benji Fishy Edition in the desk size. Keyboard is the Steel Series Apex Pro 10 key less in the 2019 edition, I believe. And his monitor is still the Zowie XL 2566K. For his headset, though, he did used to be on the HyperX Cloud 2s. As we've seen, they did actually break. And instead of just replacing the same model, it does look like he's actually using the newer model which is the HyperX Cloud Freeze. And yeah, that's a quick update on Peterbot and all of his updated settings slash setup. Before you do go, feel free to check out any of my other videos on screen right now.